Yeah. Uh, hi there. Today we are picking the Sambucus cerulea, the blue elderberry, up here in the low elevation, uh, wet, moist mountains of the West Cascades. Uh, as you can see behind me, the trees are moving into fall. The leaves have mostly uh, fallen down off the plants, and the berries are fully ripe and ready to be harvested. Uh, they're growing all down through the second growth hillsides uh, up in the mountains. And as you can see, the terrain is quite rough. Uh, it's not easy getting in amongst uh, all these bushes and shrubs and vines and thorns uh, that reach up and grab onto you. Uh, but we, we bushwhack our way through and get into the bushes and do our best job to get into these trees. And uh, once you get to the trees, it can be quite a challenge because they're mostly way up over your head and uh, we're on a hill that's at about an angle like this right now. Um, so we have a number of different tools. Little, you can use a garden hoe or um, any kind of a, like a three-tined hoe or any kind of little hooked device you have on a stick. Uh, you can even use an elderberry branch and then you just cut it off where there's another branch and you kind of make a little hook right out of an elderberry branch. And then you reach up and grab a branch like this. Um, this is the fun part. Reach up and grab a branch and pull it down to you. And try not to break them. That one broke off. And then you get your clippers out. And clip off the berries. See if we can do another one here. Reach in here. Pull that down. And then you grab this one, and usually you can grab one of the berries, and then that'll allow you to pull the branch down further, and you can grab more berries that originally were quite far up in the air. We wear these fruit harvesting bags, but you could use a bucket or any kind of toad or basket. So we go ahead and harvest these, and uh, then we get nice clumps of berries like this. You can see fully ripe berries. We always eat a few to make sure they're delicious. And um, we'll take these back, spread them out on drying screens, and slowly dry them so the fruits are nice and chewy. Um, and then we'll go ahead and rub the fruits and the, and the stems through a screen to get the uh, stems broken up. And then we'll winnow out the stems and get just the berries. We'll have dried berries. We use an extract, um, alcohol-free extract, and our elderberry syrup. Uh, and they're great in tea or even in your flour or baked goods um, or just to nibble on the trail. So um, they're also delicious fresh in a pie or smoothies. Or you can freeze them in your freezer in little baggies and have them all winter as fresh fruit. So this is the blue elderberry, Sambucus cerulea, and I'm known with Pharmacopoeia Herbals. It's a pleasure to be out here today, and we'll see you next time.